Samsung, a giant in the smartphone industry, has continually evolved its user interface over the years. Today, we're diving into a journey of Samsung's interface, comparing TouchWiz, Samsung Experience, and One UI. TouchWiz made its debut back in the early 2010s. Known for its colorful and somewhat bloated design, TouchWiz offered a variety of features, but it was often criticized for its sluggish design and cluttered interface. While TouchWiz brought innovations like multi-window multitasking and extensive customization options, it faced a little bit of backlash for its heavy-handed approach, often leading to poor user experiences and slow updates. In an effort to address all these problems, Samsung revamped its whole entire interface giving birth to Samsung Experience. With a cleaner design, smoother performance, and Samsung Experience aimed to streamline the user experience. Samsung Experience brought along refinements such as Samsung Cloud, enhanced security features, and improved system optimization. It marked a step forward in Samsung in terms of usability and overall satisfaction. Fast forward to today, now we have One UI, Samsung's most recent iteration of its interface. With a focus of simplicity and accessibility, One UI represents a significant shift in Samsung's design language. One UI introduced a brand new revamped design language, with elements positioned lower on the screen for easier reachability, especially on large devices. It also came with dark mode, improved gesture navigation, and a more cohesive visual identity. Looking back at the evolution of Samsung's interface, it's clear that each iteration has its own set of improvements and innovations, from the colorful but cluttered TouchWiz to the streamlined Samsung experience, to now the user-centric design of One UI. Samsung has continually refined its software to better meet the needs of its users. What's your favorite Samsung interface, and how do you think it will continue to evolve in the future? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech content. Thanks for watching, and feel free to check out any more content on my channel.